This is the planning board meeting for the 6th of uh, May, 2020. Uh, as a preliminary matter, this is Peter Pecos, chair of the Newbury Planning Board. Uh, permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Board members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Uh, George is not here yet, George Morris. Uh, Larry Murphy? Yes. Leslie Matthews? Yes. Mary Strong? Yes. Woody Knight? Yes. And then staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Martha Taylor? Yes. Emily Knoll? Yes. And Emily? Yes. Great. Um, anticipated speakers, we don't have any. Okay, good evening. Uh, this May 6, 2020, open meeting of the Newberry Planning Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order supersedes the requirements of the open meeting law to have all meetings in publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which can be uh, found posted with the agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow with along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. Uh, this meeting will not feature any public comment. Uh, for this meeting, the uh, Newbury, uh, Newbury Planning Board is convening via, uh, via video conference via Zoom uh, as posted on the Planning Board's agenda, which can be found on the Planning Board's page of the town's website. The agenda identifies how the public may join the meeting. This agenda can also be accessed from the website's homepage by clicking on the box that says agenda at the top of the quote, news box. Uh, please note that uh, this meeting is being recorded and uh, that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware uh, that other folks are able to see you and please not share your screen unless you're requ uh, requested to do so. Uh, I believe everyone in the, of, uh, of the board has uh, received materials for review prior to the uh, meeting. Uh, there are no <coughs> applicants uh, on our agenda uh, tonight. Uh, uh, please note that the public hearings will be continued. The date and time of the continuances for all scheduled public hearings will be announced after I've established these ground rules. Okay, the meeting ground rules. We are now turning to the first uh, item on our agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules. Uh, for discussion items, I, the chair, will go down the line of members, inviting each member to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold your until your name is called. Uh, we've done this, and everyone has been comfortable, and uh, these meetings have gone very smoothly. For any responses, please wait to be acknowledged, uh, and then we can uh, continue. Um, uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, finally, um, my uh, vice chair will uh, reinforce that each vote will be taken. This meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. Um, okay, I would like to now just kind of go into what our continuances are going to look like. Bear with me for a second as I continue with technology here. Public hearing continuances for May 6, 2020. Number one, pursuant to Chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020, Section 17, the public hearing for the zoning amendments um, proposed by the citizen petition regarding changes to the Parker River Residential District shall be continued until May 20th, 2020 at 715 at the Newbury Municipal Offices, 12 Kent Way, Byfield, Mass, second floor hearing room issued by Peter Pickles, Chair, Newbury Planning Board. Number two, pursuant to Chapter 53, of the Acts of 2020, Section 17, the public hearing for the Planning Board's proposed zoning amendments regarding lots with, with driveway widths and setbacks and wireless communication shall be continued to May 20th, 2020 at 7.15 p.m. at the Newbury Municipal Offices, 12 Kent Way, Byfield, Mass, second floor hearing room issued by Peter's 
because chair and the planning board pursuant this is number three pursuant to chapter three of the acts of 2020 section 17 the public hearing for the definitive subdivision plan application for of 68 Green Street, our Realty Trust, uh, Eve Jackman, a uh, trustee, dated March 3rd, 2020, for the proposed three lot residential subdivision, Farm View Lane, on land at 68 Green Street, Assessor's Map R35, Lot 21, shall be continued to 20, uh, May 20th, 2020. Uh, at 7.15 at the Newberry Municipal Office, uh, 12 Kent Way by Phil Mass, uh, second floor hearing room, issued by Peter Pecos, Chair, Newberry Planning Board, and number four, pursuant to Chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020, Section 17, the public hearing uh, for the special permit application of Stowaway Storage, LLC, doing business as Newberry Self Storage, Willem DeFrancesco, General Manager, dated 8 January 2020 for expansion self storage facility known as Newberry Self Storage at 131 Newberry Port Turnpike, Assessor's Map R36, parcels 23 and 24 shall be continued to June 3rd, 2020 at 7 at the Newberry um, Municipal Offices, 12 Kent Way by Phil Mass, uh, second floor hearing room. Issued by Peter Pickles, Chair, Newberry Planning Board, pursuant to Chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020, Section 17, the public hearing for the site plan review application of Story Storage LLC doing business as Newberry Self Storage, William D. Francisco, General Manager, dated 8 January 2020, for expansion of the self storage facility known as Newberry Self Storage at 131 Newberry Port. Uh, Turnpike Assessor's Map R36, parcels 23 and 24 shall be continued to June 3rd, 2020 at 7.15 at the Newbury Municipal Office, 12 Kentway, Byfield, Mass. Second floor hearing room, Mr. Rappi, because Chair Newbury Planning Board. Okay, now that we have discussed our continuances, I'd like to suggest that we move into our agenda. Uh, and um, Along those lines, uh, I think all of our requirements have been fulfilled um, for the uh, meeting announcements. I'd like to um, uh, uh, kind of poll the, the uh, board members at this point in time, um, just to have a little discussion. Um, Martha, is this an appropriate time to do this? Uh, sure. Okay, great. I always like to check with Martha before I go much, too much further uh, and getting myself into a rabbit hole I shouldn't be in. I'd um, like to um, discuss what we should be thinking about as we go forward. Uh, our uh, current state of emergency is uh, in place until the 18th of May. I'm not exactly sure what the governor is going to do going forward from that. Uh, and um, questioning board members as to whether you think it might be valuable to have a discussion with town council for guidance and direction as to what our options will be if the state is if of the state of emergency is continued uh, or if there are restrictions on public meetings which i would think there would be how we should continue to proceed with doing business or limited business. and so i'd like to find out if people would feel that that would be a beneficial discussion to have and let me start with uh, vice chair larry yeah, I, I think it would be. I, I, um, I don't know that we can have a lot of confidence that this day is going to be lifted out on the 18th. And uh, it, as much as these meetings are, are a second best or, um, alternative to a live meeting, um, at some point, I think we're going to have to start to advance business. And uh, it's probably it would be a very good idea to get an update from town council as to see if there have been any changes. I know one of her concerns uh, that she expressed was um, um, that the AG was uncomfortable with holding public hearings um, uh, in this format. Um, I don't know if maybe there might be more guidance from the AG's office she could supply us. And I know a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, um, even at Newbury boards are going forward with public hearings at this point. I know the uh, ZBA is, is planning to uh, hold a remote meeting if it's still required um, for the 40B off Pearson Drive. So yeah, I, I, that's, that's a, a long winded way of saying I agree with you, Pete. I think it would be a good idea. Okay, all right, very good. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Larry. Uh, Leslie. 
Um, I absolutely agree with both you and Larry um, watching the I've lost Leslie's audio. I don't know about yeah. the rest of you. Yeah, Leslie, could you turn that uh, from the beginning? Because we, we seem to have lost your audio for a sec. Oh. oh, yeah, we lost you. Could could you start again, please? Yeah, I agree with um, with uh, Pete and Larry. Um, the governor's briefings have pretty much indicated that the 18th is not going to be the magic bullet for reopening much uh, in the state of Massachusetts, and it's going to be a very slow and steady. Uh, by a day-to-day -day determination. So I think that, you know, referring to town council and if she can uh, get some more information from the AG, that would probably be very helpful. Um, George? Uh, the question is, is not unlike some of the questions we covered at the last meeting. And I think it'd be excellent to have town council here, perhaps with fresh information, because we don't put we don't want to put the uh, planning board in an embarrassing situation with the public or with the town, generally. Great. Thank you, George. Mary? Embarrassing situation in what way? I, I, I didn't understand the embarrassing situation part. George, can you hear uh, Mary's question? I don't think you can. Um, I, I don't want to answer the question uh, for George. Um, I think the, um, the concern is that we uh, handle business in the most appropriate manner uh, that uh, council would recommend so that we can best represent our constituents. If I could answer kind of in our indirect manner. Did I answer your question? Really wasn't my answer. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. I, I just, um, I guess what we talked about before seems to be the way forward. Um, but it, but it, I'm not sure I understand what would be embarrassing. I guess I'm missing that piece. That we Correct. don't, that we don't um, represent our constituents properly because we don't make the right decision based on new information that comes from the governor's office. So the question right now is, would it be beneficial for us to meet again as a board as we did prior to the series of meetings to get guidance from council as to whether we might need to re-evaluate and reconsider uh, if we should open up our uh, ability to do business. That was kind of the- In other words, having public hearings virtually. Right, so basically uh, I'm kind of pulling again the board to say, do you, do you think it'd be beneficial to revisit this? Yeah. With guidance our, our from next, our council. Our, our next meeting is outside, is on the 20th, so it's outside the current, um, um, the, the current uh, uh, state of emergency uh, closure. Um, but we probably should get some sense of how we want to proceed on the 20th if, as seems very likely, it's further extended after the 18th. Um, it, I, it seems to me it just comes down to a uh, nobody it's never easy to weigh competing harms you know mm -hmm. and uh, it's not like we have a good solution I mean they, these meetings as I said earlier are second best but at some point I, we need to think how long we can kind of kick the can down the road before we have to start taking these things up okay I get it now so we get we receive more input based on new information from the governor's office and then visit the whole decision of how we uh, do or don't have. I mean, and, and pose a hypothetical too. Suppose the stay is, uh, or the uh, order is lifted on the 18th, but the town has the local authority to still close uh, the town office building after that. Where do we stand in that situation? You know, where's our clock? I got we you. may have no choice, you know, right. but to go forward. With the okay, so we, right, so we need right. to okay. based on what the governor said. Got it. And, okay. and that's and what I, I was, that's what I was going to note because the town is working on the reopening plan and, and um, it, it, 
I don't know that it's been finalized yet, but my guess is that it will be kind of a reverse engineering. So employees will come back first for some period of time. Right. And we'll get things ready to be able to, um, to have the public come back in again, but that's not going to happen at the same time as the employees come back. So I think, you know, we'll also, um, you know, hopefully get some guidance on that soon. And um, so we'll, we'll need to work with both what's coming down from the governor's office as well as what our, our town team is working on. Right. Okay. Okay. And, that makes sense. Yeah. And Woody, just want to uh, see if you thought it would be beneficial for us to maybe consider having a, uh, a meeting with our, our town council to, to discuss the, this, the options. Yes, I would, because uh, I agree with what everyone else said, and they're knowledgeable, and we can figure out some sort of path to move forward. I, every, it seems like every time they set a deadline, it gets extended down to two weeks. So, And like Martha just said, with town hall reopening, it's going to be a slow restart if it does take place around the 18th, and we wouldn't be able to have a meet on the 20th. So. Um, it'd be good to get her opinion on everything and okay. she could let us on what to do. Okay, perfect. Um, with that said then, Martha, would you mind reaching out to a council to see if there'd be an opportunity where we could uh, gather together uh, as a board and uh, um, have this discussion? Yeah, I will do that and then uh, let, uh, you know, pass back some available times for her back to the board and see, see what works for everybody. Okay. So doesn't it make sense, but we're talking about after the 18th when we know what the governor is going to do. Is this correct? Why would we do it in advance of the 18th when we don't know what the decision is? Well, what we'd like to do, I think, Mary, is we'd like to have a, basically kind of two plans. Um, if it is lifted and if it isn't lifted, and how are we going to conduct business? Uh, because it's going to be difficult for us to, to have physical meetings for quite some time. Um, and so going forward, uh, will there be enough uh, guidance uh, from the Attorney General's office to say, okay, uh, considering all the, the pieces to this puzzle, you know, there might be a little bit of consideration to allow uh, meetings to take place without concerns, as long as we try to take every measure to have access to people in every way that's, that is possible, utilizing technology and keeping people safe. Right. No, I understand. I, um, okay. Basically, it's, it'll be kind of a, a little bit of an informative meeting like uh, we had uh, with our last uh, opportunity with uh, council to kind of okay. get direction, see if anything's changed. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so just uh, if we look at our agenda, we've discussed our public hearings, which are to, uh, zoning's continued. Uh, um, so we can go into uh, our 715 slots or a little bit behind our time here for our uh, February, March, April 20 financial reports. And Martha, you're going to kill, kill me because I can't find that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, and I can't screen share it with you. Ah, um, <laughs> if technology is quick and if they were to be emailed, we could talk meeting minutes, do those and come back and then I could pull them up. Um, the problem is that <clears throat> When I'm Zooming, I don't have access to my office computer because I can only do it through my home computer. That's what so um, your email. I, I could, I don't know if it would be acceptable for you to assign me to read it. I could do that. You know, if, if you wouldn't mind, Martha, I would, I would love if you would do that for me. Okay, so I have it right here. Perfect, and I apologize for not having it. Cool, <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so on the chair's behalf, I will read the financial report for February, March, and April of 2020. Uh, the first item is payroll warrants for the town planner and planning admin. So it's uh, PR 2016 for the pay period ending uh, February 1st, 2020. PR 2017 for the pay period ending February 15th, 2020. PR 2018 for the pay period ending February 29th, 2020, PR 29, uh, 20, sorry, PR 2019 for the pay period ending March 14th, 2020, PR 2020 for pay period ending March 28th, 2020, PR 2021 for pay period ending 
April 11th, 2020, and PR 22 for pay period ending April 25th, 2020. Then expense invoices, we've got uh, four Verizon wireless invoices for the planning board iPad, uh, February 4th, March 4th, April 3rd, and April 22nd. There was an invoice for the American Planning Association annual dues, February 4th, 2020, and North of Boston Media Group uh, zoning amendment legal ads, the first for the citizens petition, that was April 3rd, 2020, and the planning board amendments, April 17th, 2020. And then <clears throat> there have been a number of payments out of escrow accounts for engineering peer review and site observation to Joe Sirwatka. Uh, March 4th and March 17th, 2020 for Newbury Self Storage Expansion, that was peer review. April 17th, 2020, uh, peer review for 108 Main Street Subdivision. April 3rd, 2020 and April 17th, 2020, review of the 68 Green Street Subdivision. And February 29th and April 22nd, uh, site observation for Newbury Golf Center. And that's it. Thank you, Martha. Thank you very um, much, Martha. Sorry, it's three months worth. Next one will be shorter. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, okay, moving along, we have uh, minutes that were compiled. Uh, Emily, thank you very much for doing this, uh, uh, and uh, for Martha uh, also uh, for overseeing that. Has everyone had an opportunity to review the minutes for the 1st of April 2020? I did. I did. I did. Yeah, me as well. Okay. Um, are there any corrections to the minutes that anyone can see or any comments that anyone would like to make? Everything seemed to be fine as far as my recollection. Looks good to me. All right, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, that being the case, I would entertain a motion to accept the minutes. I make a motion to accept the minutes. Is there a second? Okay. All right. Is there any further discussion? Okay. Now, this is where, Larry, you have to kick me. Oh, okay. You roll call it. vote. Uh, <laughs> Larry, how say you? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Leslie, how say you? Yes. Wonderful. George, how say you? Yes. Wonderful. Uh, Mary, how say you? Yes. Uh, Larry, did I ask you how you say? You did, and I answered yes. Wonderful. Woody, uh, I'm going to ask you just because I want to ask you. Sure, yes. All right. Uh, I think then we're good with that. Um, those minutes. Thank you very much for uh, compiling those um, and uh, for facilitating those. They were um, a, a long, long, long set of, set of minutes. Um, and I know there'd be some other uh, minutes coming down the pike. Uh, we don't have any uh, submissions or appearances. Uh, Martha, we have no old business. And do we have any new business to discuss anyone? Not tonight, I mean, based on the board's previous decision, really not to have any substantive discussion. There are things that the board will have to bring up, such as the um, Village of Cricket Lane 40B. Um, so hopefully that can be discussed sometime soon. Okay. Well, I must say I do enjoy these very light agendas. I miss every. I miss all the people that will come in and and uh, give their presentations and and give their comments. I, I love that part. It's fun. Well, um, hopefully we'll be getting to some sort of modify modification of, of presentations. Uh, we'll you know once we have a little bit of insight from council, we'll see where we go. Yep, sounds good. All right. Um, well, it's seven twenty-seven, and I guess I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Okay, I guess I'm going to do a roll call vote. Sir Larry? Yes. Leslie? Yes. Mary? Yes. George? Yes. Wonderful. And Woody? Yes. And Pete, of course, says yes. Wonderful. Uh, everyone, thank you very much. Stay well, stay safe. And uh, we'll be in touch once we uh, uh, have our conversation with council to see what schedules look like. Um, and Martha will be uh, reaching out to see uh, what folks access looks like.
And Pete, I'm glad you ran the meeting. Well, next time <laughs> you just might get your chance. I'm <laughs> expecting a haircut. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.